Hello. So after learning the regular expression, file handling, exception handling, it is necessary to understand what is GUI, how to create GUI in the uh, Python. Uh, because Python is uh, is a language which allows you to write down the object-oriented programming, which allows you to write down the structured programming, which allows you even to create a small software by using MySQL in the backend. Okay, so to understand this, we need to learn what is GUI, how to create it, how to give various elements like say label, text box, check box, radio button, okay, etc. And how to print the values in the in the uh, we can say uh, that window where our GUI is going to get shown. Okay, so we are going to understand it uh, now in the later tutorials and today's tutorial. So let's start. Okay, so working G two GUI, uh, we will need to use the Tkinter. Okay, so the Tkinter is a powerful package which allows us to create. Uh, and import the module tkinter, uh, create main window that is container where we are going to show our various elements like label or text box or radio button or check box button or uh, message box etc. Apply, uh, add any number of widgets and these whatever I took down the names okay they are nothing but the widgets okay and apply the event trigger on the widget. So when we talk about TK, okay, this TK is to create uh, uh, actually a main window and main loop is used when you are ready to run the application. Fine. So that is the idea behind it. We will start how to uh, write down uh, the Python program using Tkinter. Okay. So we will write down from Tkinter, Tkinter, import, start. Because from Tkinter library, we are going to make use of all the functions, all the libraries, whichever sub libraries, whichever are there. So import start. Okay. Window. Window is nothing but the window which I am going to create. Tk. Tk. Uh, the T is always capital. Fine. And uh, window dot title. Welcome. Welcome to. Uh, Python, GUI, uh, that's all. Okay. And uh, we would write down window dot geometry because how much bigger window you want, it depends on that. And we are going to write down uh, rows by columns. So please keep it in mind here you are going to give X and not into. Okay. Uh, and here it would be a single code. Very sorry. Fine. And we will try to execute it. So let's execute. It would ask me for the file, the file name. TK1 is already there. I'll start with TK10. Okay. And then let's see. Yeah. It created a window for me. Fine. So what is the meaning over here? It imported uh, all the libraries from TKinter. Uh, it took it as window equal to TK. Uh, window dot title equal to welcome to python gui you can see that over here welcome to python gui and window geometry is 350 by 200 that is 350 uh, pixels column and 200 rows so 350 columns okay vertically and 200 rows that way it will create my first window of ticket okay i hope it must be easier for you Fine, we will write down one more program. Okay, now we will write down some another program. Uh, and uh, I have already done it. So we can understand it first and then later programs we will try to write them down. So from TK enter import star, window equal to TK. Okay, I, I think you know this and you know this too. Okay, window dot title. What title I want to give on my window? Welcome to Python Tkinter. I don't want to give it now. Py, uh, welcome to Python GUI. I want to give it as welcome to Python Tkinter. What should be my geometry? 350 by 200. Okay. Do I want to give 350 by 300? Fine. No problem. Fine. Then I want to give a label. Label is where you give the title. You give the heading. Okay. 
So I gave a variable LBL, LBL label window. Window on this window, I want to print this label and I want the text to be printed as hello. Okay, so onto that label, I want to print the text as hello. Okay, where do I want that label? I want it onto the window. Which window? This which has been defined with the geometry, with the title, and with the ticket. Okay, now I have to place it somewhere. Where do I want that label? Where do I want to place it? I want it on the left hand side, I want it on the right hand side, I want it at the center. So accordingly, we are going to make use of placeholder that is grid. Okay, so LBL dot grid column equal to zero, row equal to zero. Okay, this is my first grid where I'm placing. Next time, it will be column equal to one, row equal to zero. Because if column equal to zero, then here will column equal to one, hoga to niche. Okay, then LB, uh, sorry, column equal to zero, here will to column equal to one, hoga to vajju mein aega. If row equal to zero, hoga to here will row equal to one, hoga to uske niche aega. Fine. So if suppose I want to put the label something like this, okay, and this is my another label, okay, I want to write down here something, I want to write down here something, fine, this is my column equal to 0, row equal to 0, but this would be my column equal to 0, row equal to 1, but if I write it down here something, this is my another label, fine, and I am typing over here something, it would be column equal to 1, row equal to 0, in the same column, Okay, uh, in the same column, but in the uh, later, besides the next column, okay, and it would be in the same row, fine. So this way we understand uh, the column and the row, okay. So uh, now I want to, uh, when the text will be clicked, okay, the when, whatever the uh, button I'm going to use, sorry, the button would be clicked, okay. I want button was clicked to be printed. Okay, and on that button, I want to print the text, click me. So the function is written and this function is called here. Can you see that? I suppose why I'm saying function is written because def has been used. Def clicked, okay. LBL dot configure, I want to configure that label with what? The button was clicked, fine. So text would be button was clicked. But where would it happen? Where the button would be clicked, where the text has been given as click me and it's clicked, this would come. Before that, what was there? Hello. Okay. And for this button also, we will have to need the, we will need the placeholder. Where do I want to print it? So in the, uh, besides that column where this particular label has been given and window dot main loop at the end. If suppose you don't give then also it's okay, your program runs. Okay, so window dot main loop would say that my program is done and it is in a, uh, it is, it can be executed now. So we will run it. We'll have to give the name. Okay, I'll, I'll give here as TK11. Once you see that, you can see here, see, I'll show you just a minute. <clears throat> you can see here that welcome to Python Tkinter. You can see that. Sorry. Hmm. Welcome to Python Tkinter. Size is 350 by 300. 350 by 300. Okay. Then uh, 350 yeah, by 300. And then letter label window text equal to hello. You can see here label. Okay, where I told you the label is used for giving the uh, title or the heading. Okay, later on next to it, besides it, click me. Okay, when I click, now there, was, there is a command, click the function. If I click on this, it would give me button was clicked. Fine, so here, what are we doing? We are uh, defining a label, we define a button, Fine. And then after defining this label and the button, okay, we understood that how to uh, give the function so that once we click on that particular button, it would be printed. Button was clicked. 
I hope it was easy for you. Obviously, it is not over yet. We have just started. Fine. We are going to write down few more functions using few more widgets. Okay, various widgets we are going to make use of, and then we will write down the functions. Stay tuned. Thank you.